Hey everyone, as you know, I do a lot of wiring work and whatnot, and I uh, into my wood projects and things like that, so I always need strippers. Um, I've been a big fan of this company for a while, as you can tell. I have their hand strippers here, which I've used so much that they're basically just strippers now. I can't even really use them that much, which also led me to using these again. And once I started using these, these kind of started to die on me. So I said, hey, let me go look up and see if they have a new model. And sure enough, they do. So I picked this up and hopefully, once I open this up here, we're gonna see what's inside. And according to what I was reading, this has interchangeable um, blades for the cutters, which is awesome because I use that a lot. That off to the side. All right, let's open it up. See what's inside here. Okay, we have Put the box to the side. These are the interchangeable parts that wear out the most. You have your spring, and you have your cutter blades. So that's one thing that I loved about this package. Is you can get the little razor blade cutters. The spring and replacement screws so that's that comes in handy so i'll put that over here see the actual tool itself is different from the original it, oh wow this feels way better oh man okay so these are the originals that i had and as you can see this has more of a dial this is the old one, this is the new one. The handle on here is so much better. Oh my lord, what a difference between handles. I'm I'm blown back here just by the handles, how sad is that? All right, so one thing to note on these that's different is now there is a screw pin here so that when you adjust your depth or your pull, so if I take this and I come in here, I can stop. Well, on the old one, you kind of just pulled it and ho hoped it stayed in place. This actually has a screw down to tighten it, and that won't go anywhere. I like that. So enough about the old ones, because, you know, we're not here for the old ones. I'm here to talk about the new ones. The strength on these, it, just, it sounds better. It has a better feel to it, but I'll talk no play. So let's let's see here. Let me adjust here. Bring this in. I only need to do a little tiny nub. So let me bring that flat. See what happens when I go flat. Okay. So we're gonna put this up. To the edge and grip and pull. Yeah. So it measures from where this part is to your stopper. So as you can see, it pulled off exactly. I don't know if I can get in there. Get that to focus. There we go. You can see it pulled off exactly what I wanted it to, so that's good. So now I want the other one to be a little deeper. So let's go. Here, line this up. Other than trying to look through a camera screen and do this, it's a little sloppy, but it cut clean. There's no fibers sticking off. It pulled it straight. So now I have my positive and my negatives. So that's cool. Um, the cutters. They improved, because as you can see, they're interchangeable now. You have a blade here and a blade here, so it cuts from both sides, where the originals, it was like a pair of pliers. It just had a filed section that every now and then I'd have to get in there and hit with a file. That's why you can see it's pretty scraped up, which I like. You know, it's kind of this style, where you're in here and, you know, typical wire cutter snippers. But um, 
yeah, then you have your crimpers. I have nothing really to crimp, so I can't show you what that looks like, at least not at this time. I plan to use this for a little while and then update the video, so this is only part one. Part two will be after, you know, some use and see what happens with it, but I like the hinging mechanism on this one a lot better. I like that you can tool the angle. You can even adjust here. So, um, as for changing out the spring, that looks like it's going to be a little difficult. Because you got to stretch it. I guess with a pair of pliers you can pull it straight, but offhand, I, I don't know. But anyways, I've been off camera most of the time, hopefully not. Um, but yeah, so the blades are simple change. You have a screw here, takes this off, take the blade out of here, put it in, screw it down, ready to go. See how well that cuts since I like to have one length shorter than the other. Not like butter. I barely touched that and it just fell off. Look how clean of a cut this is. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Come on. Nope. But you get the idea. Um, I have to say, I do like these better than the other set. That's for sure. More leverage to it, is, it feels like, as well. As much as they are the spitting size of each other, I don't know, like, it just... That extra grab and pull, this kind of just has a... A tug you know so no matter how much you adjust the tension it just seems not as snug so I don't know um, but as for these I love the new pair this this was worth it I have to say I can't wait to put them through cable tests I'm going to also be doing, you know, brake lines and other things like this. So this is going to be thick cabling to try and cut, and we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, my bench is a mess. Sorry for the mess here. And I um, guess I bumped the camera a little bit and adjusted my angles. So, yep. So this is the Milwaukee, you know, wire cutters and crimpers. Again, I'll see about doing a crimp later on, because um, right now I just don't have anything that I can think of that needs a new head right now, so I can't adjust anything. Uh, again, I'm off camera and just babbling. So, anyways, uh, that's the symbol unboxing for now. Time to put it through the paces and see how it does in the next video. Part 2 coming soon. Bye for now.